Cisco phone IP addresses can be assigned manually or by using DHCP. To request information from the DHCP server, we'll need to use option 150 or 66. We'll talk about them both in this edition of Tech Talks, next. Cisco phone's IP addresses can be assigned manually or by using DHCP process performance. Devices also require access to a TFTP server that contains device configuration name files, which enables the device to communicate. We'll be using three devices for this demonstration. An RV340W router, a PoE switch, and Cisco IP phone 8865. First, we'll navigate to LAN DHCP settings under the LAN tab on the left-hand menu of the RV340W. Here, we'll select VLAN 1 and click Edit. We'll click Server, then Next. At the bottom of this page, we see IP address boxes for option 66 and option 150. The IP addresses in these boxes should lead to the TFTP server. Click Next, then OK to finalize your selections, then apply them by clicking Apply at the bottom of the page. Continue by pressing Save at the top right of the display to save these settings. Next, we'll open the configuration file for our IP phone. In order to get the configuration file, we'll type our IP address followed by forward slash admin forward slash cfg.xml. Now, we'll copy the contents of the configuration file and paste it into a text editor. Here we use Notepad++. For the sake of simplicity, we'll name the file the MAC address of our phone with the extension .xml. Now you can change the host name to whatever you'd like and save the file. Next, we can reboot the phone. Because we have previously set TFTP options, when the phone reboots, it will request the configuration file from the router, and the router will use the TFTP server to retrieve the configuration file. After all the reboot finalizes, the host name should be changed on the configuration utility for the IP phone. That's a wrap. That's how to configure your Cisco IP phone with option 150 and option 66. Thanks for watching Tech Talks from Cisco. We'll see you next time.